How you folks doing? Isn't Mike great? He is, man. And you know what? He's such a nice guy. He's, he's like the nicest insurrectionist I ever met. He's a super guy. He actually will, I want to brag about he won Miss Congeniality on January 6th. So that's, we're really proud of him for that. But I've been, uh, I've been married for 23 years now. Yes, and my, my wife and I, we decided some time ago that we didn't want kids. And um, not going to lie, it was tough telling our daughters. <laughs> I, I learned, man, it, it was, you know, when they're young, though, oh my God, they're so sweet. And anybody's got young kids, when they're young, just be present. Be engaged, be part of their life, because when they get older, you're not going to want to. <laughs> I swear to God, they're animals. And for us, for us, it was like a light switch. It wasn't a gradual thing. I, I literally remember the day. I came home, and my wife was standing in the kitchen with an open bottle of wine, no, no glass. <laughs> And I go, honey, what, what's up with the wine? And she goes, I need that for dinner. And I'm like, oh, well, but we were having grilled cheese. <laughs> I'm no cook, but <laughs> that's part of the recipe. But uh, yeah, in, in my daughter's defense, um, their life's a lot different than mine. Um, like, for example, I've got two daughters, and they have one bathroom, their own bathroom. If you go in there, there's like 13 bottles of tanglers and detanglers and shampoo and conditioners and face scrubs. When I grew up, there was four of us, one bathroom. And we had one bottle of shampoo and one bar of soap. We had the same order every single morning when we got ready. So that means for 18 years, that bar of soap went from my dad's balls to my face. <laughs> And I'm old, so that was the 70s, and there wasn't a lot of manscaping going on then. I remember being 13, looking in the mirror, going, cool, a mustache. No. Nope. No. Nope. You fucking grown. You lived that life. But yeah, so now I recently turned 62. It sucks. Everybody goes like, oh, it's just a number. That's because you're not 62. What's his name? William Shatner. I don't remember. A couple years ago, he went to space at 90. Space at 90. I was reading an article about him. He said he had a vision board and he wanted to do it for years. I'm not that guy. Like, number one, I see a trash can at the end of my driveway, and I'm like, I'm going to have to pay a kid to get that. <laughs> my Sherpa? <laughs> and number two, a vision board? Yeah, I have a vision board. It says, don't die today. <laughs> Some people call it a calendar. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so the world has changed quite a bit. Like, I remember growing up, and I remember being so intimidated by people that had, like, neck and face tattoos. I mean, that used to just scare me where I'm from, right? And as you get older, like, one of the benefits is you just don't give a shit anymore. Like, I confronted a guy with a face and neck tattoo. I'm like, what the fuck's my latte? I ordered that, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> See, when I was growing up, face tattoo meant gangster. This guy can hurt you. Now face tattoo means... I get up early and make coffee for people. <laughs> but the, uh, and it's, it's great. I mean, it keeps me young hanging out with guys like Mike and Daniel. Number one, they're great guys. Um, but it keeps me young. But I, I got to admit, it's, it's tough fitting in a little bit. Because, like, after the show, they all want to kind of take pictures. And they're all, like, you know, doing, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> the other day I tried to be cool and I went like this, and inadvertently, uh, I guess I'm in a gang now. <laughs> you laugh, but um, I'm supposed to kill some dude named Dre. <laughs> And that sucks, because I like have a tea time this weekend, so 
for both me and Dre, the timing on this thing is really bad. Like, I call my friend Gary, and I go, Gary, dude, I can't golf. I gotta take out Dre. And he's like, what do you do? Something you're set? And I'm like, um, either that or he kind of fucked up a guy's Roth IRA. I'm not sure. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's difficult when you're so what somebody has a what's this? <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> huh? It's a mic. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a mic. I'm Mike Darnell. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it.